What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video today We got the 40 gallon rimless aquarium right here And I just did a whole maintenance on it and it's looking really really good right now So a lot of the fish we actually already have in here hide most of the time The only time they really come out is when we feed them The two fish that we see pretty much all the time are the clownfish and the damsel Those fish are more like mid water column fish The royal grama, the purple firefish, and the red firefish They're really really small fish and they hide all up in these holes So the goal today is to pretty much make this thing pop a little more make it look like there's a lot more life in it and um yeah i think that'll be pretty cool so we're gonna head to the aquarium shop but before we head there i got some food right here and we're gonna see if we can get some of the fish coming out to eat oh little clown fish is eating let's see if our arrow crabs hungry. the royal grandma oh royal grandma's out i see a little fire fish look you can kind of see what i mean you're gonna see him come out of the hole there's one of our fire fishes now he's out since there's food in there, but that's what I mean. Like before, it looked like nothing was in here. Now look, everything's kind of out, eating away. And um, yep, we got purple firefish, red firefish, arrow crabs in the back there munching away. Everything's pretty much munching away, doing awesome. But I definitely want to get a few more fish for this. Let's head to aquarium shop and pick up some new fish. We are here, about to head in, see what they got. A whole bunch of coral. I mean, literally so many pieces of coral with like little tangs and stuff swimming in there it's so sick then we got some more bigger pieces over here i mean some of these corals have some insane colors on them then over here is all the fish literally there's so many fish so we're pretty much just gonna go from tank to tank and then pick out a few we got some little chromies right here these guys are so cool because they always just school up they're not really a hiding fish you always see them mid water column or top water column schooling swimming all around so those may be an option Maybe an option. Little well, Goby? Yeah, but wait till he swims out in school. I see his head right now. He's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's hiding behind the rock. That's a little Goby right there. Pick me. We got some little clownfish. We might get another clownfish for our other one. Since there's only one in there. Another one oh, small one. And then an up? anemone too. Ooh, that would be cool. We got some little firefish. We actually already have one of these guys. We're definitely going to pick up an anemone just because we're probably going to also pick up another clownfish and hopefully we can pair them with one of these anemones in the aquarium. So I think we're actually going to go with this little clownfish right here. And like I said, we're going to pick up an anemone also just because we're going to try to pair the two clownfish with the anemone. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And we're going to find out. I think we're going to do also it's like probably about four chromies and um these guys are really small so as they get bigger we'll be able to move them into a bigger tank but for now they should be perfect size for the tank so i think we're gonna do a purple dotty back as well we're gonna go with this little guy right here and then one of these clownfish up here and then also four chromies and then we're gonna go pick up an anemone got the chromies and the purple dotty back dragged up and now we gotta get this little clownfish back up. we got our fish in the bag here we are now going to head to aquarium shop and pick up an anemone since we did get a clownfish and we already have one in the tank we're gonna try to pair them and see if maybe they will pair with an anemone and hopefully they do but we got a purple dotty back clown fish and our four chromies in here we're now going to the aquarium shop now at aquarium shop right here we got all the anemones and we got a big selection to choose from there's definitely some bigger ones some smaller ones so we're gonna look through and then pick one of these guys out so look right here this is kind of similar to what we're gonna have see these two clownfish right there's an anemone and they're just hanging out by it and they're actually the only fish that does not get stung by the anemone so we made the decision to go with one of these little purple tip anemones there any specific one I think that's a good pick. Does it have purple tips? Yeah. Look at that right there. Boom. Well, into the bag. Real? I don't know. So pretty though. We're leaving aquarium shop right now. We got our little purple tip anemone right here, also known as the Haitian anemone. But this is definitely going to be a cool little addition to the aquarium along with the fish we also just picked up. So let's get home and get everything in their new aquarium. We are back home. We got all our fish and an enemy right here. First up, we got the four chromies. These guys are gonna be really, really cool because like I said, they're gonna hang more up at the top of the water column rather than in the rocks and stuff. And we'll be able to see them a lot more. Then we got the purple dotty back and this is actually Courtney's pick. She wanted this guy really, really bad. And if you don't know why, I think I do. It's pink. <laughs> It's purple. <laughs> purple. Next up is the clownfish. So as you guys know, we have another little clownfish actually already in the tank. Those guys like to pair up, so we got him a little friend. And now there's going to be two clownfish, which is going to be also another awesome addition because he hangs out mid-water column, not really in the rocks and stuff. Then we even picked up an anemone for the clownfish. As you guys know, clownfish are one of the only fish that do not get stung by the anemone. So they actually use the anemone as like a house 
and they pair with it. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do, but when they do, they end up making it their home and hiding up in the anemone and other fish will actually not mess with them. This tank is one of my favorite tanks. One, because it is in my room too. It's just, I love the look of it. It's so clean, everything looks really organized. So uh, it's time to get these guys acclimated. So what we're gonna do, He's got this drip line going from this tank to the bucket. Same process we do pretty much every time. Slowly acclimate them for about 30 minutes and then they're going into this tank. First up, purple dotty back. Here she goes. We are definitely gonna need some names for these guys. Definitely. And I'm thinking maybe even just naming them as like a whole. Instead of like naming them each by one, we can literally name them all. Next up, clownfish. Going in, boom. He's in. Our four chromies, these are one of my favorite fish. I love that they just, they have really cool colors. They have like a blue and gray to them. And I love that they just school up. And there they go. They are all in the bucket. Now we are gonna acclimate the anemone separate from the fish just because we don't want them to like sting the other fish and possibly kill them. So we're gonna acclimate him in a separate bucket. Here we go. Look how cool this thing is. I mean, so like majestic looking. It's really weird, but we're gonna be able to get a better look on pretty much everything once they are in the aquarium and the lighting's on. So let's get them in the bucket, get them acclimated, and get them into their new home. Got everything slowly acclimating right here. We got the anemone in his own bucket, slowly dripping water into there, and then we got the fish right here also doing the same thing. We're gonna give these guys about 30 minutes to acclimate, but in the meantime, we're gonna go over to the pool pond and do a little feeding. Let's see if Mr. Axolotl is hungry real quick before we go over to the pool pond. Drop a fish head right here in front of him. Ready? Oh! Oh! Slurped it! God! He's literally like a little dog. <laughs> Look at him. His face. Now, over to the saltwater pool pond. Right here, we have a 3,000 gallon for anyone that does not know a saltwater pool pond. We got lionfish, big emperor snapper, groupers, cleaner rats, stingrays, eels. Look at these fish. They are flared up right now. And we actually have the garage open. This is probably the first time you guys see it with the garage open. But I open the garage probably like once a day just to make sure all that salt in the air just gets pushed out of here. And then I have these big old fans also. These fish are pretty flared up right now. And we got some sardines right here. So we're gonna do a little feeding while our other fish are acclimating. Ready? Let's see, oh, oh, oh. Oh my God. They are really flared up right now. Gone. Just like that. Go on, son. Go on, son. He's back. He's back. He's back. Oh my god. It's like a dolphin. Wait, look at the bumblebee. Look at the bumblebee. Oh no. Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> that was insane. Gone. Dude, these fish are just. They're crazy. They're literally crazy. Every day they get more and more comfortable with me. It's so cool. Cool. Everything's out right now. I'm just munching away. We got the stingrays out. Ooh. Bumblebee. Oh, look at a big moray eel. Big moray eel. Oh! They gotta watch my hands, dude. There's every, we got lionfish all out. Look at the bumblebee. Look how flared up everything is right now. This is insane. Everything is just munching away. You want another one, bud? Okay. <laughs> Thing just eats literally all day until he can't. Look at bumblebee. He wants one. He wants one. Oh. <laughs> Tossed a lot of eels out. We got the lionfish out. Everything is literally out right now. It's so cool. We're gonna just toss a bunch of food in here. Ready? Bumblebee, gone. Blue and yellow cod, test a lot of eels out. There you go. There you go. Wait, wait. Test a lot of eel, just got one. He's gonna bring it right back into the rocks. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You need to look at that drawing. It's crazy. Ready? Watch this. Hand feeding stingrays. Boom. Here you go, sweetie. <laughs> ah, little baby. They're you so are cute. insane. <laughs> You're crazy. Why don't we put you in a little outfit? 10,000 likes and okay. then we'll wear a little fish. Here. I don't know. I'll wear it like a zookeeper outfit. Every time, every time we do a feeding, I will fully put on a zookeeper outfit and, and you know, make it a little more entertaining for you guys. So, 10,000 likes. Please get this video to 10,000. Boom, be grouper. And boom. Got it. Look at the eel. Oh no. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. <laughs> and there he goes. Oh my gosh. Who do you think would win in a fight? Bumblebee grouper. All the way. Oh my gosh. That is scary because if that fish gets her hand, I'm going to the hospital. I'm going to the hospital. It is now time to add our fish into their new aquarium. They've been acclimating for about 30 minutes now. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed that little feeding we just did, but um, it's pretty cool. Honestly, really epic for a quick little feeding. So what we're gonna do is do one at a time. We're gonna start off with the purple dotty back. He's gonna be a cool addition. There, you, there she is right back there. She's gonna get used to it and go right into a rock, I'm sure. There she is. Right back there, you kind of see her. She's gonna find a little hiding spot, get used to the tank, and then once she gets comfortable, we'll probably see her out a lot more. Now, we're gonna do our clownfish. This guy's really cool, and hopefully he makes friends with our other clownfish in there. Nemo, going in. Look at him, so cool. Oh, 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 he's like, hey buddy, you look just like me. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Like, what is going on here? That is so cool. Next up, four chromies going in. Look at the colors on those guys right there. Wow. So pretty. Here we go. Boom. They're in. And look at that. Just look at already. The tank already looks so much more like life to it. So. I love it. Wow. That's awesome. We still have one more thing though. An anemone. Which is going to top the whole tank off completely. Because it's going to change it up from that rock look and give it a little more like... What the heck is that thing in this? <laughs> Lastly, we got the anemone. The purple tip anemone. Now the anemone will actually find a spot on a rock that it likes, and then it will stick itself to it. And every now and then you'll actually see it move from like this spot to like that spot, so it's pretty cool. It's not like it just stays in one place and it's boring. It actually moves around and stuff, so that's gonna be pretty cool. And hopefully these two little clownfish pair up with this anemone. Everything's out right now, just swimming around. Now they are a little skittish because obviously we did just add them to a new aquarium and they gotta get used to their surroundings, so we're probably gonna give them a couple days to get used to everything, and then I'm sure they'll be out a lot Lot more and a lot more comfortable just swimming and stuff that wraps up today's video we got a whole bunch of new fish for the 40 gallon rimless i think it looks really really good and i think this was an awesome addition to it just because like i said i usually would walk into the room and only see like one fish out and be like hey there's nothing in there so it's kind of like pointless of having an aquarium so we added some more fish that you know our mid water column top water column that we would see a lot more and i think it's going to add a lot more life to the aquarium so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you give it a thumbs up also if you haven't already Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!